Well, good morning, everyone. It's really nice to see you. And if you're new, it's great to see you here. And if you've come back, it's it's great too, because this center is um, is an amazing place to be because it's somewhere where we can just completely be as we are. And I think before I met this teaching, I had no idea how to just let myself be as I was. I was just on a mission all the time, struggling, striving, thinking, intellectualizing, hoping, longing, fearing. Um, it, I, I had no idea actually that I could be at ease with my experience because there was so much going on and I was pretty sure that I was responsible for making all of that okay somehow. Um, and so that was just really hard work and I probably spent most of my time with people that reinforced that idea as well. So, you know, talking a lot about relationships or, you know, having groups of people where we were very focused on having a good time and, um, or, or being ambitious and really, you know, looking for that perfect job, focusing on the career. Um, it's interesting, I was looking, I was uh, deleting some emails from my <laughs> inbox that go back to around the time that I met this training, which was 11 years ago, whoops. So I was clearing out some things and it was really interesting because what there were certain things that were kept popping up in the inbox as I was collating them. Um, you know, astrology, I forgot, I was really into astrology. <laughs> I really wanted to know How's it going for me this month or today, you know, um, am I going to be lucky? Am I going to be lucky in love? Is it going to be a good day? I mean, yeah, I was really look, I was kind of looking for some answers there. And, uh, and also another thing that came up a lot was jobs. I was searching for jobs all the time. And um, yeah, it was just really interesting to see how I was kind of living my life before because I've kind of forgotten because meeting this teaching just it was just like such a refresh and um, what was so refreshing is that I was introduced to the nature of my mind finally I was given a really um, amazing introduction and then a practical tool to to get to know that even more and the introduction to open intelligence is what we receive here and the way we can introduce ourselves is just to stop thinking just for a moment and recognize what remains. Clarity, cognizance, the power to know, the power to know the next thought. What's looking through your eyes now, what's sensing. Now this introduction had been completely missing from my whole life education, you could say. My education as a being on planet Earth. <laughs> and so I was I was struggling to understand my experience without actually knowing what the basis of it was. And so this introduction is really powerful. And the practice is not to stop thinking. That's just where we recognize this always on brightness that's at the basis of our experience that's present when we're thinking as well as when we're not thinking. It's always on. And the practice and balanced view is to take short moments of open intelligence and repeat them many times until they become continuous. And that was really amazing for me because <coughs> I came to see, especially when I did the 12 empowerments, that I basically just emphasized descriptions. I'd emphasized everything I thought and felt and perceived. And, and so that's where all my attention had been going all my life and probably why I was getting really exhausted and so the short moments we're just getting used to recognizing open intelligence now with everything that appears and so that's why the practice is so great and that's why we just repeat these short moments for many times whenever we remember we don't need to struggle and strive on that one but that's where the assurance comes about that actually open intelligence is shining through all experience. Now, anger is a brilliant example of 
uh, a sensation or a thought feeling coming up, a data stream, as we call it in the balance view training. Now, when anger came up for me before, it was like, okay, strategies. What strategies have I got? Drop down menu. Okay, I can completely emphasize it and indulge in it, which would probably mean speaking, speaking with anger. Um, or I would complain to my friends about a particular situation that made me angry, uh, trying to get some relief there. Or, or, you know, maybe I would be at a party and feeling angry and I, I can't feel angry now, I'm supposed to be having a good time, so try and get rid of it in some way. There, there were just the options I had before. And um, actually none of those options really ever felt very good. So when we're introduced to open intelligence, we get another option. And that is just to recognize, as anger is coming up, recognize open intelligence, just for a short moment. Now, the practice of short moments is not to bring about a particular result or change in the data stream, which in the beginning I remember feeling very much, okay, if I take that short moment, it, you know, suddenly all the roses fall from the sky and, you know, I don't feel anger anymore. All I feel is pure love. But actually, the short moments are just to show us that there is perceptual freedom in the appearance of anger. And that's very empowering because if we do feel like we're constantly either avoiding anger, you know, that feeling that we're bottling something up, or that we're overly expressing anger in a way that we know is harming others and ourselves, then the short moment is a beautiful gift to ourselves to, to, to make a direct change in how we're relating to anger. And you know, strong emotions, I, I, I can so relate to this kind of dance with the strong emotions, you know, when, when very intense data streams are coming up, feeling, oh, how, how do I relate to that? It can almost feel in the moment like something very, you know, something is going to happen if I don't do something or, you know, maybe we feel like we're kind of paralyzed in some way and it's really good just not to think too much about it, just to allow the soothing energy and the relaxation of short moments, even when we might not feel relaxed at all, just to keep repeating the short moments, just to give ourselves a chance to kind of reprogram a very tough programming that most of us have done all of our lives. And that was really amazing for me just to just give myself time for this new perspective to settle in my experience. And so for me, doing the 12 empowerments really helped and then ongoingly just training up open intelligence because yeah, I'd come up with some crazy ideas about what my thoughts and emotions were, who I was, what my life was about, how others should be, how I should be. There, there was just so much training in fixing an identity in place and, you know, I just not wanting a relationship with certain data streams. You know, I just, I didn't want to feel depression. I didn't want to feel anxiety. I did not want to feel loneliness and exclusion. I would just run a mile from these experiences, but then the humility of a short moment of open intelligence, the refresh button, and then just seeing what happens, just giving ourselves time to see what unfolds from that, and then using all the support that's available here when it feels like actually this anger is, it, it's, you know, <coughs> it's hard to take a short moment for me. Okay, so I ask a trainer or speak to someone in the community. So, you know, this, um, this introduction to open intelligence, it's, it's life-changing and life-enhancing. And it's already present. It's already naturally present. It does not discriminate with any of the data. It shines forth equally. And so we're getting used to that. And the short moments just give us more assurance, more assurance, more assurance that this is our true nature. And then what's amazing is that for me now, when strong emotions come up, or something like anger, or desire, or raging jealousy, um, there's stability there. How amazing is that stability? 
you know, I can just pause with my speech, really consider, you know, I can take responsibility for all the data streams because all data streams vanish naturally, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. And, you know, they just arise and they resolve, they leave no trace. So how amazing to be stable because when we're trying to make sense of the data streams that are constantly changing, complete impermanence like a rainbow in the sky, it's, it's madness. It's complete madness, it's instability, it's ups and downs, it's extremes. And um, I really wanted a life of, of ease and well-being, but I wanted potency as well. I didn't want to neutralize my experience. I didn't want to completely avoid strong emotions. You know, I wanted to really be authentic. I wanted to let myself be as I was. And so the short moments have given me access to stability in all of my experience more and more. And that's wonderful because it's so much easier to love myself now and also to love other people now that I am open to my experience. You know, not sort of running away from negativity or doing an elaborate kind of moves and strategies. It's really facing everything with, with, with elegance. You know, we, we start to have a natural pride because we let ourselves be as we are. And it's humbling. It's so humbling. And then we can be in the world in a way that we maybe just didn't realize we could be. Just so open, really seeing people, really hearing them, really connecting in a natural way, connecting with ourselves connecting with the anger, the energy that's in anger, the energy to benefit all. I mean, all these data streams, they're the dynamic beneficial energy of open intelligence, inseparable from open intelligence, like the sky and the color blue. And we're just getting used to that. We're just getting used to that one short moment at a time. So it's, it's beautiful to come together like this, you know, showing up for that showing up for how we want the world to look. We don't want the world to look in extremes. And so we don't need to relate to our data streams in an extreme way anymore. We can relate to them with natural confidence and natural ease. No longer a victim of the data. Mastering all data streams. Because the wisdom that comes from just resting at the basis, that's what brings about the actions that we want when anger come up. That's what brings about the knowing and connection we want when very strong emotions come up. And also when very extreme ideas come up about <coughs> how we want to be in the world, vegetating or being really active. We can completely be active and bring about a huge change by taking a short moment of open intelligence.